Hello, I'm Matthew Msanga, the designer and developer. In this video, I'm going to show you the best way of creating a variation of a component in Figma. For instance, we want to create a copy of this button and then from then we want to move these, we want to remove this icon in a very simple and efficient way. The first thing to do is to create a component out of this button as you can see this button at this moment it's a frame it's not a component so let's convert it to a component there are two ways to go about it you can right click and create a component create a component or you can just click on the button and click on this diamond as you can see this icon has changed and also the color around this has changed so now let's create the properties for this component because now it's not just a button but it's a figma component when you click on it as you can see we've got properties here so let's just add properties so the first property that we are going to add it's a boolean a boolean in programming terms not in design terms it's a something that is true or false so meaning that a boolean is more like a switch it's either a switch on or off this is represented by true or false so let's create a boolean let's put here and then we are going to say this is icon left what does this mean this means that now figma can be able to choose between this item left being true or this item left being false obviously true will be it's visible it's there and then false will be it's not there so let's just create a property and then let's create another property for the right icon so obviously we have clicked the component and then let's check uh, properties where is our property sorry and then here is our properties and then let's create another property let's call this icon right and then we create a property and then now what we need to do we need to assign properties to our elements obviously this is the icon left so we want on this icon left we want to assign that property so let's just go to the layout as you can see to the layer as you can see in this layer we can assign a property apply the boolean property and then from then we have to choose which one let's choose icon left and then we are going to also click this one go to the layer and then on the layer we are going to assign this property Okay, then we are done. Obviously, you don't see any difference. Now, let's work on the cool stuff. Let's go to asset because this is a component. So that means it's an asset. It's a reusable component. We can drag and drop it. So this is a copy of the component. What we can do now, we can go to the properties. As you can see here, yeah, the properties automatically. Then we can switch them on and off. As you can see, now the pattern is there now it's not there otherwise for me matthew singati if you feel like this has added value into your overall understanding of figma please do me a favor and subscribe